Hello everyone! After this video you're going to love me because I'm going to show you 5 amazing functions that make your life easier. So let's get started. So go to my repository at GitHub from, from the course ML2020-2021, click on datasets and then here we go, Titanic, Row, and we're going to import this dataset directly into our studio. So let's copy this and open a new script. So let's create Titanic, read CSV, and then, sorry, and then we paste this between quotation marks. Okay, and that's all. So if we take a look at this, Titanic. Okay, as usual, we have this table with seven columns. Okay, let's take a look at what is inside. And you see there are some variables that should be factors like survive and sex code, but they are considered integers, okay? And the other thing that we can check here, for instance, if you run summary, summary Titanic, you can see that for the age column, you have NAs. NAs are not a valuable variables, or another way to put it is missing values. And one of the most important steps in machine learning is cleaning your data set. So if you take a look at this, you can see, for instance, that passenger 13, 14, and 15, they don't have recorded the age, so that's why you have an NA here. So we, what we want to do is remove them. So we have a couple of ways to do that. The short and painful way is something like this. So let, uh, let's use the function is NA. For instance, if you say that an NA is an NA, of course this is true. If you run this function to, let's say, hello, it's going to say false. The same with number three. So if I run this for Titanic H, I'm going to get a vector with trues and falses, okay? So, for instance, number 13 is true because it was an NA. If I put this here, this is not an A. So if I run this this line and I'll click here, you can see that now this is not, number 13 is not a good value and because this is false, okay? So we can use now this vector, Titanic, okay, only take the rows that are not in A's and every column and plug this into another data frame called Titanic 2. Oh, sorry. So now if we take a look at this, Titanic 2, we see that we don't have number 13 anymore. So you can see that, you can see that we are skipping from 12 to 16. Okay, but this is really painful. So the first function that I want to talk about today is called NA omit. And you're going to love it because if we run simply Titanic 3, NA omit, Titanic, it's going to do in just one line what we did here so painfully. So let's take a look at this data frame, Titanic 3, and here we go. Again, we're skipping 13, 14, and 15, and everything is the same as with this Titanic 2. Okay, we cannot distinguish between them. So this is the first function that I wanted to talk about. Okay, next one is called with, and this is made to avoid repetitive typing like Titanic 3, whatever, okay? So imagine that you want to plot H versus, let's say, survived. So we will do something like this. Titanic 3, H versus Titanic 3, um, survived, okay? Okay, let's convert first. Let's say that Titanic 3, survive is a factor factor Titanic 3 survive okay and now let's plot this and, and remember that as this is a factor then you're going to see a couple of box plots as in here one for survive equals zero and the other one for survive equals one okay but this is really boring because we have to repeat Titanic 3 dollar over and over again okay so I'm going to use the function with and with the syntax is pretty simple it's going to say okay with Titanic 3 do some stuff and in this case, we could say, okay, just simply plot H versus survive. And we have the same plot. Okay, before we have this label here, Titanic 3, and now we have this one. So this is much simpler. And actually, we can run different stuff. So we could say something like with Titanic 3. And then we can plug a lot of functions between these curly brackets. So I'm going to do the same again. Plot h versus survive sorry 
and then semicolon this is important like in C++ and then I'm going to plot let's say age versus sex and then I'm going to create a double entry table with survive and sex okay and the good thing is that I don't need to type Titanic $3 anymore so if I run this I have the second plot here this is the first plot and this is the table so we can plug a lot of functions inside this one so next function that I'm going to show you is how to create your custom functions custom functions so imagine that you want to do this over and over again or imagine that you have you want to calculate the mean of Titanic 3H and then the standard deviation Titanic 3 dollar H okay but you want to plug them in the same vector so you want to do something like this create a new vector that contains the mean and the standard deviation okay and you want to run this for different data sets so instead of only taking the age you could do that for all the numerical variables so I'm going to create my custom function so I'm going to create my first function and the syntax is pretty simple this is the name of the function and I'm going to use this assignation symbol and then call the function keyword and then the parameters and the parameters here is going to be my okay my vector of numbers for instance okay then curly bracket again and here I'm going to return the output of my function so I'm going to copy this but instead of using Titanic 38 I'm going to use my variable okay to, to do this shorter I'm going to type simply here V so the mean and the standard deviation of V okay so let's run this and now here we go my first function of Titanic 3H and as you can see here we're getting the same result I could repeat this for another stuff so my first function for let's say a thousand uniformly distributed values between 3 and 10 okay so the mean is in somewhere in the middle it should be 6.5 but it's some of the middle and the standard deviation is like that okay next one is one that I love which is by and it, the idea is the following imagine that you want to run your function but you want to discriminate between who survived and who didn't survive so you would do something like this let's copy this line in principle you should just select all those cases in which Titanic 3 survive equals zero that means that I'm going to compute the mean and standard deviation of the eight only of the passengers who didn't survive remember that zero is that they died in the accident so I run this and I have to copy this again and and take the one who actually survived so we can see the mean and the standard deviation that are more or less the same and actually uh, that this is because the age wasn't a, a good predictor who, who would survive okay again this is really boring so I'm going to use by and I'm going to say the same the following so take Titanic H okay and then classify sorry Titanic 3 H and then classify the results by Titanic 3 survived okay and and for all of those classes taking this data what I'm going to do is use the function my first function okay and here we go so by tell us that take all the classes in which you have zero and then compute the function my first function and do the same with with the other categories so as you can see here at the beginning this is going to be hard for you but but in the end I think you're going to love this sort of commands we can combine a couple of them so we, we could say with Titanic 3 and now we can simply say by H survive my first function and this has the same result as before okay so we can improve our coding simply using these sort of handy functions there are a family of functions called apply and like for instance l apply m apply and s apply that are i would say cousins of this function by but i'm going to leave that for another video because this deserves a further exploration so that's all for today